In this video, I am going to talk about packet forwarding. You know that the first and the primary function of the network is the providing connectivity between devices. Actually, we are using computer networks for sending data or traffic from one system to uh, other systems. This is the computer network function, primary function. And you know that in each communication, for example, in the network communication, we need some rules and also some tools, okay? Because of that, in each network, we are using a, a combination of protocols or methods, okay? Actually, today, we are using transmission control protocol, internet protocol, or TCP IP model. You have learned about the TCP IP in the CCNA class, and here we are reviewing the TCP IP model. Also, you know that TCP IP model or other mod practical models, okay, are based on the OSI model. OSI model or open system interconnection model is the reference model that we have in the networks, okay? Actually, TCP IP is based, okay, on OSI model. And OSI is a reference model, TCP IP is the practical model. Let me to review some of the concepts that we have learned about the OSI and also about the uh, TCP IP model. The first thing that we know is that in OSI model, we have seven layers, from la layer one to layer seven. As you can see here in the left picture, layer one is the physical layer, layer two is the data link layer, layer three is the network layer, layer four is the transport layer, layer five is the session layer, layer six is the presentation layer, and layer seven is the application layer layer okay and here in this picture in the right picture you can see again these layers also tcp ip model is based on the osi model as you can see here in the tcp ip model we have some layers and these layers are accordance on uh, to the osi model for example in the tcp ip model we have application layer and this application layer is providing us all of the functions that we have in the three uh, layers in the osi model application presentation and session also we have transport layer like the osi transport um, uh, layer and after that we have internet layer and in the osi we have network layer in the tcp ip or in the original tcp ip we had you we have used a link layer and in the osi we have two layer data link layer and physical layer in the ccna class you have learned that in tcp ip in the enhanced tcp ip okay representation we are using tcp ip link layer we are dividing tcp ip link layer to two sub layer actually here again we have data link layer because of more accordance uh, to the osi model here we have link layer or data link layer and after that here we have again physical layer okay physical and then layer also because we want to use the same names uh, in the enhanced version of tcp ip instead of using internet layer we are using the term network layer actually now uh, in the enhanced version the in the tcp ip model we are using the network layer as you can see this enhanced version of tcp ip is more uh, for example, base is more accordance to the OSI model. This is the enhanced version of the TCP IP model. Look at here. Again, I'm going to review. Now we have five layer instead of four layer in the traditional TCP IP. In the enhanced TCP IP model, we have again application layer and then transport layer and then network layer, data link layer and physical layer. Let me to use the numbers. This is the layer one. Layer one is the physical layer in the enhanced TCP IP model. And also in the OSI model, the, la the layer one is the physical layer. Also the layer two is the data link layer. Okay, and in the enhanced TCP IP, again, the layer two is a data link layer. Now, the layer three is network layer, and also in the TCP IP, the layer three is the network layer. Again, layer four layer is uh, the layer four is the transport, 
okay layer and after that here you can see again the transport layer but in the enhanced version of tcp ip application layer is the layer 5 okay but in the osi we have these three layers layer 6 layer 5 layer 6 and layer 7 let me to show you this is layer 6 and after that layer 7 what does it mean it means that the layer 5 in the tcp ip or enhanced tcp ip model is providing us all of the functions of three layer in the osi model layer 5 layer 6 and layer 7 let me to explain it look at here assume that we have one application layer protocol for example http http is one of the protocols that we are using it in the enhanced tcp ip model and in http we have all of the functions that we had we have in the osi application layer presentation layer and session layer actually http this application layer okay application layer of tcp ip provides us okay the functions of three layer in the osi and this means that this application layer is not same with the application layer of the osi actually in the osi when you are calling when you are talking about the application layer this application layer for example protocol doesn't provide us presentation features and session features but HTTP as one of the application layer protocols of TCP IP model or enhanced TCP IP model can provide us the functionality of the application layer of OSI presentation layer of OSI and session layer of OSI because of that here we have the same name with two different or I for example not exactly same function you should understand all of these details in this class because of that now we know about the enhanced TCP IP model okay and the uh, enhanced TCP IP model has five layers layer one layer two layer three and layer four are exactly same with the OSI model with the same names and layer 5 has different functionality because of that in many cases maybe you hear about the layer 5 of the app of the tcp ip model uh, and instead of layer 5 maybe you use layer 7 okay we will understand it and because of that if you hear i am using the on the protocol in the layer 7 of tcp ip means layer 5 of enhanced tcp ip all right now we know about the models but let me to review the functions of the each layer in the osi model and also in the enhanced tcp ip model let me to emphasize that you will learn more than this about this uh, for example definitions in this class and also you have learned about them in the ccna class but in this class actually we will learn with more detail about some of the features that we have in the osi model and also enhanced tcp ip model let me to review the functionality of layer one to layer seven the first about the layer seven you know that layer seven or application layer in the osi model is the interface for receiving and sending data i will explain it after that in presentation we are formatting of data and encryption and also in session we are tracking of packets i'm not going to talk about the detail of these three layers in the in this time but let me to say that enhanced tcp ip model application layers protocol like http like ftp like telnet like ssh all of them can provide us these three function they are interfaced okay for receiving and sending data with from the host they are formatting of data and also encryption the data encrypted data they are tracking of packets it's their packets okay because of that now we can understand what is the functionality of application layer but we should learn more than this about the application layer and each protocol functionality after that about the tcp about the transport layer you know that in transport layer we are providing end-to-end -end communication between devices for example in the tcp ip model as you have learned in the ccna class we have two transport layer a tcp and also udp transmission control protocol and user data ground protocol that you have learned about them in previous class in the ccna and also in this class 
you will learn more than this. Both of them can provide us end-to-end -end communication between devices. After that, about the network layer, you know that in the network layer, the most important protocol is the IP, okay, or IPv4, IPv6, and also we have some other protocols 